The Ottoman Empire, spanning from 1299 to 1922, has a captivating history. Emerging in Anatolia, it grew into a powerful force, shaping cultures and trade routes. Known for its architectural wonders and military might, the empire's legacy is a rich tale of cultural synthesis, economic influence, and global impact. So how did the Ottoman Empire come into existence? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the rise of the Ottoman Empire. In the late 13th century, the Ottoman Empire began its ascent under the leadership of Osman I in Anatolia. Situated at a crossroads of trade routes, the empire's strategic location proved vital for its early growth. Combined with remarkable military prowess, the Ottomans rapidly expanded their territories. A watershed moment occurred in 1453 when Mehmed II led the Ottoman forces to conquer Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. This victory not only marked the end of Byzantine rule, but also symbolized a seismic shift in geopolitical dynamics. The Ottoman Empire, now extending across Europe, Asia, and Africa, became a formidable transcontinental power. The strategic conquest of Constantinople was instrumental in establishing the Ottomans as a bridge between the East and West. This city, renamed Istanbul, became a pivotal center connecting diverse cultures, trade routes, and civilizations. The Ottoman Empire's reach and influence expanded exponentially, fostering a unique synthesis of traditions and ideas. The Ottoman Empire's hallmark lies in its remarkable ability to foster cultural synthesis, leaving an enduring legacy. With a diverse population encompassing various ethnicities, traditions, languages, and religions, the empire evolved into a melting pot of cultural exchange. This dynamic interaction was not merely a consequence of conquest, but was actively promoted by Ottoman rulers, notably exemplified during the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. Suleiman's era is often regarded as a golden age, marked by a commitment to creating a cosmopolitan environment. The Ottoman rulers recognized the strength of diversity and actively encouraged people of different backgrounds to coexist harmoniously. This policy aimed at embracing the richness of various traditions and fostering a climate where individuals from diverse walks of life could contribute to the empire's flourishing cultural tapestry. Under Suleiman's patronage, the Ottoman Empire became a beacon of tolerance, where Muslims, Christians, and Jews lived side by side. This cultural synthesis not only enriched the artistic and intellectual realms, but also contributed to the longevity of the Ottoman Empire. But did you know about the architectural marvels that the Ottoman Empire created? The Ottoman Empire's imprint on history extends beyond conquests. It is etched into the architectural marvels that define its legacy. Renowned as prolific builders, the Ottomans crafted structures that stand as timeless testaments to their influence and grandeur. Among these, the conversion of the Hagia Sophia into a mosque remains an iconic symbol of their architectural prowess. Originally a Byzantine cathedral, the Hagia Sophia transformed under Ottoman rule, with Sultan Mehmed II converting it into a mosque in 1453. This conversion not only symbolized the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, but also showcased their ability to integrate and repurpose monumental structures. The Hagia Sophia's architecture seamlessly blended Byzantine and Islamic elements, epitomizing the cultural synthesis at the heart of the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman architecture, characterized by distinctive features like domes, minarets, and intricate tile work, left an indelible mark on the landscape. The grandeur of structures such as the Topkapi Palace and the Blue Mosque showed the empire's architectural prowess. These buildings weren't merely functional, they were expressions of the Ottomans' power, sophistication, and artistic innovation. Did you know? The influence of Ottoman architecture extended far beyond the empire's borders. The domes and minarets that became emblematic of Ottoman design inspired architects in various regions, leaving a lasting impact on the aesthetics of mosques and palaces throughout the Islamic world. The intricate tilework, geometric patterns, and calligraphy that adorned Ottoman structures became distinctive features of Islamic art and architecture. This influence continued to resonate across centuries, with echoes of Ottoman design evident in buildings from Spain to India. But, the biggest impact that the Ottoman Empire had on the world was their economic development. The economic impact of the Ottoman Empire was profound, characterized by a flourishing trade and commerce that played a pivotal role in shaping its legacy. Central to this economic success was the Ottomans' strategic control over crucial trade routes. Situated at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, 
the empire facilitated the movement of goods, ideas, and cultures, fostering a vibrant economic environment. Istanbul, strategically located on the Bosphorus Strait, emerged as a bustling center of trade under Ottoman rule. The city's geographical position made it a natural bridge between the continents, and the Ottomans capitalized on this advantage. Istanbul became a melting pot of diverse goods and cultures, solidifying its status as a major economic hub. The Ottomans' mastery of commerce extended beyond regional influence, contributing significantly to the global economy. Control over key trade routes allowed the empire to shape trade patterns and influence the flow of goods between East and West. Spices, textiles, and other valuable commodities traversed the Ottoman Empire, creating a network of economic exchange that reverberated internationally. Moreover, the Ottoman Empire's economic impact went beyond trade routes. The development of a sophisticated financial system, including the establishment of banking institutions like the Waqf, played a crucial role in sustaining economic stability. The Ottomans' economic prowess contributed to the growth of a diverse and interconnected empire, leaving an enduring mark on the global economic landscape. But how was the Ottoman Empire able to achieve all this? The Ottoman Empire's military dominance was without a doubt the cornerstone of its success, and at the heart of this formidable force were the Janissaries, the elite infantry. Trained from a young age, these highly disciplined soldiers became a linchpin in the Ottoman military machine, showcasing remarkable skill and loyalty on the battlefield. Ottoman military strategies were marked by innovation, contributing to their sustained dominance. The strategic use of gunpowder revolutionized warfare during this era. Ottoman forces effectively incorporated artillery and firearms into their tactics, reshaping the dynamics of battles. The formidable Ottoman navy equipped with advanced weaponry further solidified the empire's military prowess. The Janissaries, often described as the empire's shock troops, played a crucial role in various military campaigns. Their loyalty to the Sultan, combined with rigorous training and modern weaponry, made them a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Their adaptability to changing military technologies ensured the Ottoman military remained at the forefront of global warfare. But Suleiman the Magnificent's reign marked a transformative period for the Ottoman Empire, not only in terms of military and cultural achievements, but also in the realm of law. His era witnessed the development of the Kanun, a comprehensive legal system that addressed governance, criminal justice, and social matters. The Kanun served as a groundbreaking legal code providing a structured framework for administering justice and managing the affairs of the empire. It encompassed a wide array of regulations, from taxation and property rights to criminal offenses and administrative procedures. Suleiman's commitment to creating a just and orderly society was reflected in the Kanun, which aimed to ensure fairness and equity in the application of laws. Remarkably, the influence of the Kanun extended beyond the Ottoman Empire. Its principles became a blueprint for future legal systems, demonstrating a progressive approach to governance. In the 19th century, the Napoleonic Code, a cornerstone of modern legal systems in many Western countries, drew inspiration from the Kanun. This cross-cultural influence highlights the enduring impact of the Ottomans' legal innovations on the evolution of legal thought and systems worldwide. Suleiman's legacy, embodied in the Kanun, transcends his time and continues to resonate in the foundations of contemporary legal frameworks. But how did this mighty empire come into decline? The Ottoman Empire, once a sprawling force that shaped centuries of history, experienced a gradual decline marked by internal challenges and external pressures. Despite its formidable influence, a combination of factors contributed to the unraveling of this once mighty empire. Internal strife plagued the Ottomans as administrative inefficiencies and corruption weakened the central authority. The Janissaries, once a symbol of military might, transformed into a conservative force resisting necessary reforms. Simultaneously, various ethnic and religious groups within the empire sought greater autonomy, adding to internal tensions. Externally, the Ottoman Empire faced geopolitical challenges, losing territory to European powers. The empire's military, though historically dominant, struggled to adapt to modern warfare, further diminishing its defensive capabilities. The 19th century Tanzimat reforms aimed to modernize the state, introducing changes in law, education, and military structure. However, these reforms faced resistance and were insufficient to reverse the decline. World War I proved to be the tipping point. 
The Ottoman Empire aligned with the Central Powers, facing defeat and territorial losses. The aftermath saw the implementation of the Treaty of Sevri, which dismantled much of the Ottoman territory. In response, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk emerged as a transformative leader, leading a successful war of independence. Ataturk initiated sweeping reforms to create a modern, secular Turkish state, officially ending the Ottoman Empire in 1922. The legacy of the Ottomans persisted, influencing the cultural, architectural, and political landscape of the newly established Republic of Turkey. Ataturk's vision aimed at distancing Turkey from its imperial past while embracing a new era of secular governance and societal reforms. In conclusion, the Ottoman Empire's imprint on the world is profound. Its expansion, cultural synthesis, architectural achievements, economic contributions, legal innovations, and military dominance collectively shaped the course of history. The empire's legacy, though marked by decline, continues to influence modern-day geopolitics, cultural exchange, and architectural aesthetics. The Ottoman Empire, in its rise and fall, remains an integral part of the narrative of human civilization. So do you think an empire like the Ottoman Empire in the present could be a boon or bane? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.